1946, the first Nuremberg trial of major war criminals was immediately followed by 12 separate prosecutions for each cog in the Nazi machine. There were the industrialists who exploited slave labour, the high command who ordered their soldiers to commit atrocities. But the very first to face trial were the Nazi doctors. These men, who'd all sworn an oath to cure and comfort the sick, became instead tormentors, torturers, murderers. When the trains arrived at the extermination camps, they chose who lived and who died. It was they who devised and carried out the sadistic so-called experiments on living individuals. Using camp inmates as laboratory animals, they experimented to test survival rates from hypothermia or from high altitude without oxygen. Healthy leg muscles were sliced open to test the effectiveness of new antibiotics. Treated as expendable, men and women were injected with malaria, tuberculosis, typhus or hepatitis. Children were sterilised. At the Nuremberg doctor's trial, one woman and 22 men were charged with war crimes and crimes against humanity. But these 23 medical practitioners were only the tip of the iceberg. Nazi party membership among doctors was higher than for any other trade or profession in Germany. The Nazification of medicine contaminated every research institution, every school of medicine. Now, on the 75th anniversary of the trial, First Do No Harm, a new six-part series from the makers of the BBC Nuremberg podcast, will ask the most important question of all. How did it happen and could it happen again? Mixing archival material, trial reconstruction and interviews with leading scholars, the series will unfold the story of how medical eugenics led to the forced euthanasia of the chronically ill and ultimately to those doctors standing on the ramp at Auschwitz. We will also look at the long road back from there, the set of ethical principles defined at this landmark trial, the Nuremberg Code that still guides human research today. First Do No Harm is partnered with the European Society of Anesthesia and Intensive Care and is to be made free and open access thanks to crowdfunding from doctors and nurses worldwide. First Do No Harm will be an important message to the generations born since 1945, a shocking reminder of how evil can arise even where it is least expected. Please click on the link in the description below if you'd like to support us. And do please share the link with anyone you'd like to.